So some of the, the ways that I think about the world, my interpretation, for example, when I was up at the Flint Hills, they said that only 4% of the original prairie exists. And that's, it's like, how, what does that mean? I couldn't grasp that, and I tried to translate it. Like, what if you said, well, only 4% of the autom automobiles that were once on this country existed, you know? That would, that would be a really different country. <laughs> percent left. So I think about that. And when I was visiting the Everglades, um, I guess they said that there's only 10% of the bird life there that there once was, you know? And it's and it's so full of birds. It's such a wonderful place to visit. And I went there as a as a as a young teenager with my Audubon youth group and it's very exciting to see big birds like that. It's kind of gets you really into bird watching. But anyway, so they said 10% existed and I saw 10 10 white egrets take off, and I thought, now what would that feel like if that was 100 white egrets? You know, 100, it just feels so different. So I think about that abundance that was here, and is still here. The, the gentleman that I was visiting with up in El Dorado, he, um, El Dorado, Kansas, he has um, prairie grass on, on his property that he burns every year, like y'all do out here. And he said, oh, it's amazing. He said, every year, I never know what flowers are gonna come up. <laughs> it's just like, in my mind, that's like, oh wow, there's all these flower seeds under the ground and <laughs> you never know why or when they'll come up. And that just gets my imagination running. So I really love to think about science and then put it into sort of the creative metaphor and what that means. And just the fact that underneath all this pavement down here, the downtown is little wildflower seeds. <laughs> So I think about the layers of time. This song is called Apache Motel, which um, is an actual motel that I saw one of the first times I traveled out west. And I don't know, it seemed a strange name to me. And sometimes when I play places out west, the directions will be like in someone's housing, you know, development, and it'll be like, well, you turn on Elk Run, and it's like, well, the Elk used to run. <laughs> They can't get through your fences. So I just loved <laughs> I just loved Jim's talk yesterday about you know honesty. It's like I think we should name these things like well Elk used to run here road, you know. <laughs> An Apache motel. I just when I think of the Apaches, this wasn't in Apache territory, I have to say, but when I think of them, it, hospitality industry is the first thing that jumps into my mind. So just a lot of really strange irony. Although they have a very nice hotel on their reservation, please don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just, historically, it just, you know, there's like tomahawks over the bed. Or just... <laughs> so this is about the layers of time. And the last thing I'll say about it is that I would, I've also, um, I'm sure many of you have read um, parts of the Lewis and Clark journals a mere 200 years ago. But they traveled here. And you read about the abundance that was here, and it's, it's stunning. <laughs> There was a line in it that said, there were trout so thick in the streams you could cross upon their backs. So I think about the guy out there all day trying to get his one trout, you know, and, that, and what that would feel like. But like the seeds that are under the soil here, they, they can come back. So, Apache Motel. Standing on the corner of Apache Motel Looking down the street to where the sacred mountains dwell I can almost hear bones rattle under the gas station pumps As they pull themselves together and see what has become of this sweet valley solo This sweet, sweet valley solo So thick of the streets, you could cross upon their backs. Herds of bison before they lay the railroad tracks, and now a highway hugs a river like a promised liver, covering the old wagon trails of this sweet valley so low. Of this sweet, sweet valley so low. Are talking about their water rights. 
bloggers who've been laid off. All the industry wins that fight. Fast houses go up. The views come tumbling down. They just keep on pushing the outskirts of this town and this sweet valley so low. Of this sweet, sweet valley so low. I can smell the sweet grass as I watch a hot light Driving rushing round seems to stop in time Just before twilight, before the neon glows I can feel this place two hundred years ago A patchy motel, the same colors fill the sky where the sacred mountains dwell. Where the sacred mountains dwell. 